Okay guys, today we're gonna take a look at these so-called portable AC units, which if your understanding of portable is something that cannot be moved at will, but you have to install and uninstall pipes and wires, then yes, these are portable. We will begin with a DeLonghi Pinguino, and the model number on this one is PACEX390LN, the black one in the middle. Then will be followed by another DeLonghi PACAN370G1W. And the third one will be Winter ARC131GD. Now, this whole thing here, we'll see how they hold the temperature of the room. Actually, the, the temperature in the room right now is around 86. Intentionally, I left it 86. And let's see what it takes for all these to put it down. And I will try each, and one, uh, each one of them for one hour. And before I go further, the Pinguino, the first one we're gonna try is 14,000 BTUs. The second one is uh, 12,000 BTUs. And the third one is 13,000 BTUs. All three will have a timer right here and will be connected to the kilowatt to see how much they're gonna spend during this test. And my main AC is not on at all, so there's no interference. And the only thing I will leave on here so I don't melt everything on my workshop will be this fan. That will be the only source of air, which is barely any air, but just to move it around. So I don't melt every single thing in this room. And with that said, let's get to the test. Okay, guys, we are about to connect it right now. And the voltage is 119. I will put it in watts, and we will see the watts in the end of the video too. Okay, let me put the timer on, so we will do one hour for this one. Okay, and the timer will be right here. Now, the time I turn this on, I will start the timer. I will put them all in 83 auto. And start the timer. Okay, the temperature is here as you see. Outside is 98, in this room is 87.8, which is crazy to be in the same room with this temperature. You see, they are the same here. 26, it says in Celsius, I hope that is accurate, because that's all I can measure in Celsius here. And uh, we'll see you guys in an hour when the test is completed for this first unit. And we'll do the same with the other units, and let's see which one of them will drop the temperature better for one hour. Okay, this is one hour mark, and let me stop the timer, and the temperature inside seems to be just under 83, and around 23 and a half, I would say, in uh, Celsius, <clears throat> and uh, as we saw almost the whole time, it was around 1200 uh, watts here, or 1.2 kilowatts, now let's see how much it spent this entire time, and I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, it says 1.28 kilowatts which is 1280 watts for one hour and yes the temperature got down outside right now is uh, 101 degrees which is a little bit high but the temperature inside is 82 and a half and that is that is quite great but the consumption was not great because we're still talking about an ac and now we'll have to wait for the room to go up high and get hot again in order to go to the next portable AC and do the same exact test and the reason I'm doing it on 83 is because that's enough of a test for me if it can change it since outside is 101 and make it inside 83 or less and as you see it started going up already from 82.6 to 82.9 and we'll wait till it goes about 87, around that, that we started with this one. And plug the second one. 
Okay guys, we're about to start the test again with a second one now. And uh, this is the DeLonghi PAC-AN370G1W. The temperature inside the room right now is uh, 88.2 Fahrenheit. And the temperature outside is 102.4. And we have the kilowatt meter right here put on uh, watts itself. We're gonna start the timer. Let's click it and put it on 83 like all the other ones. Auto, 83. Auto, fan. And let's start the timer. And we'll see where that goes. And as a start, this one is at around 800 watts much uh, lower consumption than the previous one but let's go for an hour and see where that goes this point we are gonna stop it it's sharp 60 minutes right there and uh, the temperatures inside have gone to 86 only that is actually not the greatest and outside is still uh, 101 in Fahrenheit let's see how much it uh, took so it spent 1.05 so let's put it one kilowatt sharp it spent less kilowatts but did less work as well so slowly we're gonna transition to the third one or the last one which will be the winter okay guys now we have the third one winter now here this one does not have a screen on top like the other ones this one just has this remote with the screen and i'll try to put it somewhere on the side so you guys can see it and we will turn it on and do the one hour test and put it on 83 auto just like the other ones it's on right now let me put the mode on this one 81 2 3 and the fan is on auto right there that means auto uh, ac and 83 degrees and uh, let's begin the timer okay We'll see you in one hour. Okay guys, and uh, I think this is done for, I'm going to turn it off now, it's been one hour, okay, and this thing was over 1300 watts Ooh, per run, which is quite a lot, and that is not really energy efficient and it did not really change the temperature that much temperature inside here is still 87.8 so now i'm not sure why is that for it is connected properly with intake and exhaust and all that and one more thing about this uh particular ac winter this version at least is not a self water evaporative or whatever you call that you must have a pan or the hose connected to take the water out because this one yes i forgot to put the hose on it and it made my floor complete water here that i have to clean and uh yeah, on the internet you'll read that they're oh self-evaporating and all that. That's not true. And let's see how much it took in total. And now it's what? So it looks like we had around uh because this one somehow reset itself. But last I checked was almost 1500 watts. 
so one and a half kilowatts in one hour to do almost exactly nothing with the temperature so in my opinion this one is quite a waste and no this one looks dirty and all that because it's in a garage and all that but it's actually not old it was produced probably years ago but this is probably has been in use for maybe two years tops not more than two years and it has not been really good so with that said let me close this one out and uh, check the results with all of them as per what i think about all three i think in their own uh respective way they do a job except for winter the arc 13 one gd the 13,000 btu i am very disappointed with that one because all these three units have been in use for two years all three of them were bought brand new two years ago and they have probably seen the same kind of hours of work except winter actually was used even less but delonghi the uh 14,000 BTU, the uh, EX390LN, that one did a better job than the other two, followed by the Longi AN370G1W, 12,000 BTUs, that one did actually quite an okay job, I would say a great job because it spent less electricity to reach quite a good satisfactory temperature, and I intentionally put them on 83 only, not on the minimum, but only 83 to see what it takes the, for them to break that kind of melting barrier of temperature. Regarding winter, winter went way above when it came to consumption with 1400 watts or 1.4 kilowatts and in total it was around 1.5 kilowatts and really not changing the temperature more than approximately two degrees delonghi the 14,000 btu on the other hand ex3390 ln did an excellent job dropping it under 83 and spending quite okay 1200 11 1200 watts that's not bad at all and delonghi an 370 g1w i think for the consumption did quite a good job and all these three are my own units so that's why i'm so confident to tell you how long they've been used and how they've been used all three of them were used mostly in uh, tool rooms just so i don't get tools and all that stuff overheated while i work in those rooms and none of them were actually abused and as you notice winter has some kind of tape stuff that was remaining on it that was just because i had it uh, against a wall in some place that i needed to keep it upright because it wouldn't stay the uh floor up there was tilted and that's just duct tape that was put around there and all three of them had clean filters all three of them were checked for functionality before this video and all three of them are working at optimal stages and these are the results in my opinion if you can afford i would definitely go with a mini split air conditioning if you cannot find a comparable or energy efficient central ac which central acs are not exactly electric bill friendly but they do the job and with that said i hope you like this video and this video has not been sponsored by any of the companies mentioned on this video please hit that, that like and subscribe button if you got any information out of this video and with that said we will see you next time bye